Marina Granovskaya's latest Chelsea contract decision proves Frank Lampard was right. The fact Thurfo Kalobar's new four year contract was a matter with little surprise is only vindication of the telling thermos to shell has allowed to blossom in the early months of the campaign. Kalobar has not kicked a ball in a competitive action for his boyhood club before he started the UEFA Super Cup final against Villarreal in Belfast. It only speaks to how fragile a professional footballer's potential fate is that mere days before that debut, there were strong signs that the 22-year-old would be sent on his horse loan away from Stratford Bridge. However, his integration into the first team squad and quality of performances has proven to everyone at Chelsea why the legacy of Frank Lampard's tenure was overwhelmingly positive. In a video accompanying Kalobar's contract announcement on Thursday evening, the English defender spoke confidently about the process of developing from Cobham's academy to scoring on his Premier League debut against Crystal Palace in August. It's quite surreal. It's a dream for me to sign a new long-term contract for my Hood club and hopefully the dream continues. Director Manina Granovskaya, who was pictured alongside Kaloba in the photo and who is press present in nearly all of the club's transfer or contract signing announcement, also spoke about the continued breakthrough of academy talent. To see Trevor joining so many of his fellow academy graduates in the men's first team is something we are exceptionally proud of as a club. When he scored in the first game of the Premier League season, it was an emotional moment for everyone involved in his progress to this point. His performances in the early months of the season as well as his attitude and professionalism have impressed us all and we're very pleased to be able to reward Trevor's progress with this new long-term contract. As Granovskaya points out, this narrative is not foreign in the recent history of Chelsea. An academy talent sent out on several loans with doubts over their ability to fully thrive in the highly pre Sirois environment, managing to grasp an opportunity to extinguish those lingering doubts and grow into an established part of senior squad. Mason Mount, Rhys James, Andres Christensen, Callum Hudson Odoi, Ruben loved to see just the name of you. This story could not be a new one but that's still a feeling it still needs to be retold. The songs were then handed to Chelsea from FIFA in February 2019, could have spelled relative disaster for a club drifting further away from the Premier League title and without the capability to invest on Europe's past to improve the first team squad. Appointing a rookie coach in Frank Lampard despite being a club icon was an even bigger risk. But the combination of all that uncertainty helped to foster a unique environment where the glass ceiling was shattered. The lesson for Chelsea should be that ceiling remains shattered in pieces rather than repaired. In the aftermath of Lampard's sacking in January, some of his biggest detectives wanted to proclaim that part of his downfall was in entrusting the next generation. This is ruthless Chelsea, and Roman Empire has no patience for developing young players. That believing in Cobham talent was some foolish sentimental nonsense, that Lampard's youth project was a brief respite from Roman's modus operandi of splurging on major starts. Shouted with absolutely no self-awareness on social media during a season when Mason Mount was consistently outperforming all the peers, 
leading him to become the men's player of the season in May, playing the pass that won the European Cup. In that history Champions League triumph, Mount was only one of three academy breakouts who featured in club football's biggest game, with Andres Christensen and Rhys James helping to stifle Manchester City's attack to make Chelsea the best club in Europe. Even the young players who have not remained have proven their ability to feature for top clubs. Fikayo Tomori becoming a mainstay in AC Milan's defence. Tammy Abraham instantly slotting into the main striking role for the Giallo Rossi under Jose Mourinho. The summer exodus which disappointed supporters has only further highlighted the level of talent being produced from the club's academy. Mark where he walking into Patrick Vieira's defense at Crystal Palace. Did Oliver Mantle with Pali and his senior football becoming a standout for Southampton? Only on loan, Conor Gallagher is flourishing at Selhurst Park, with eyes turning to his eventual return to West London. It would be disingenuous to suggest Kalopas' swift integration was part of a wider strategy given the links unknown and even murmurs of a potential permanent exit. The defender could have been another member of the exodus in search of pathways. Some could use the example of Kaluba to lament those who decided to move elsewhere. Other than realizing it more indicates why trusting our academy is of greater benefit to the club's future. Chelsea have created their own La Masia, their own Ajax youth system to not only supplement but upgrade their first team.